Hi, welcome to Sweet Sorcery. I'm Maggie and today we're going to make a coconut jam slice. The link to the written recipe is in the description box below. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Measure out one and a half cups of plain flour. For a gluten-free variation, simply substitute the plain flour for one and a half cups of gluten-free plain flour. Put one teaspoon of baking powder into the flour. Sift the flour mixture into a bowl and set it aside for now. Pop 125 grams of butter into a saucepan and melt slowly over a low heat. Lightly whisk your egg while a puppy creepily watches you from the shadows. Make sure the butter has cooled down before moving on to the next step. If the butter is too hot, you will end up with a cooked egg in the slice base. We don't want breakfast foods in our desserts. Use the back of your hand to test the heat level rising from the butter. If it feels close to skin temperature, then it has cooled down enough. Pour half a cup of caster sugar into the butter and give it a little stir. But if you're making a sugar-free version, substitute the sugar for four tablespoons of honey. Add your egg to the butter and mix them together quickly. That way your egg won't be cooked by any residual heat within the butter. Then quickly pour in the flour mix. This will cool the butter right down and stop the egg from cooking further. Stir the mixture until all the flour has been mixed in. Scoop the mixture out into a lined 20 cm square cake pan. Press it out evenly with a spatula or the back of a spoon. Make sure you get it into the corners. Measure out half a cup of strawberry jam. Mix it slightly to break up any large fruit clumps. Spread the jam evenly over the base. Pop the base to the side while we make the crumbly topping. In a medium bowl, measure out a cup of desiccated coconut. Lightly whisk an egg and add it to the mixture. Then add a quarter of a cup of caster sugar. Now, if you're making a sugar-free version or you just want to lower the level of sugar, you can omit the sugar from the topping. There is enough sweetness in the base and jam to make this slice still taste delicious. Mix up the topping until it is well combined. Then pour it over the slice. Spread it evenly, breaking up any larger clumps with your fork. Then bake that off for 30 minutes. Once your slice is out of the oven, leave it in the pan and let it cool on the bench top. When your slice is cool, pop it in the fridge to harden for 30 minutes. Cut your slice as big or as small as you like. This slice is sure to be a big hit with everyone, especially puppies with a sweet tooth. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.